Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make multi-boot USB flash drive. In simple words, you can have multiple OSs in one flash drive and you can boot all those OSs from the same drive. So for example, you can have Windows 10, 7 and 8 and even some Linux distros in one flash drive and you can boot all those OSs from the same drive. So that's what we are trying to do. We are trying to make a multi-boot USB flash drive. And uh, I think there are other ways to do this too, but I believe this is the best way to make a multi-boot USB flash drive. Or even if you want to make just one OS bootable USB drive, this is the best. Doesn't matter if you want to make multi-boot USB drive or single boot uh, bootable USB drive. This is the best. Okay, let's get into it. So. To make our bootable USB drive, we will need this software, Ventoy. Maybe you have heard about this, maybe you have used it. If you have used it, you know how good it is, okay? So I will put link in the description for this website. You can go here and uh, download the Ventoy software. To download, just go to the download section, okay? And after that, click on the Windows if you're using Windows. If you're using Linux, then click on the Linux one. I'm using Windows OS, so I'm gonna click on Windows and it will take me to the GitHub page. From here, we can actually download the Ventoy. So here, same thing, if I'm using uh, Windows, I'm gonna download the Windows. If you're using uh, Linux, you're gonna download the Linux one. So I'm just gonna click on Windows.zip, okay? While it's downloading, let me show you one more thing that you need to know. Uh, go to the tested ISO section on the website, okay? From here, you will know which ISOs or which operating systems are supported by this software, okay? So for the Windows, uh, above Windows 7 is supported, Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. And almost all the Linux distros are supported. So here you can just check the list of the operating system supported by Ventoy. Okay, that's all you need to know. Now go to your downloads. Okay, we just downloaded the Ventoy, just extract it. Okay, and after that, go to the folder, Ventoy folder, and after that, run this Ventoy to disk as administrator, just like that. Okay, and after that, here under device you need to choose your flash drive usb flash drive since i have only one usb drive i have only one option to choose but if you have a multiple usb drives you can choose uh, your desired usb drive so i'm just gonna use this one because that's all i have and after that uh, all you need to do here is do the install just click on install and it will give you the warning okay twice and after that just click on yes and uh, just wait for a few seconds it will be really fast now it says congratulations ventoy has been successfully installed to the device click ok and you don't need ventoy anymore just close this and open up your file explorer and after that find ventoy named disk which will be your usb flash drive okay just click on it and it will be empty you can see it's empty don't worry uh, now all you need to do here is copy and paste the isos yeah and you're done i'm gonna give you the demo too don't worry how it works okay so i have downloaded uh four isos just to do the test and just to do the demo for you guys Okay, I have Phoenix OS, which is the Android distro. I have Windows uh, 20H2 and uh, 20.04, okay, and Ubuntu. So I'm gonna copy all these, all four of these uh, OSs and paste inside the Ventoy USB flash drive, just like that. And I'm gonna wait, okay? So we're just gonna wait it uh, till it gets finished. And after that, I'm gonna boot uh, this USB flash drive and give you guys the demo how it works. Okay, so let's just wait. All right, we are almost done copying our ISOs to our flash drive. Okay, now last thing left to do is do the demo. Okay, so I'm going to do the demo in virtual machine because 
obviously I cannot uh, turn off my computer and record so yeah I'm gonna do it in virtual machine okay you know how to use flash drives I'm sure okay you just need to go to your boot menu and from there you need to choose your USB flash drive and after that the Ventoy will open and here is the list of ISOs or operating systems that we uh, copied inside our USB flash drive. So you can see I copied four of them. So let me give you the demo here. For example, let's say I want to uh, install the Windows 10 20 H2 uh, and I'm just going to click on enter, select that and enter. You can see the Windows 10 is starting. Now let me do the same thing with another OS okay uh, let's say my, i changed my mind and i'll now i want to install the phoenix os why not okay hit enter and uh, i'm gonna run the live cd just like that and as you can see now it's booting the phoenix os simple no i changed my mind again now i want to install uh, ubuntu why not okay just choose our uh, ubuntu here okay and i'm gonna run the live if i want to install install you know whatever you want to do i'm just showing you guys that it works okay so i'm just gonna click on ubuntu and uh, it should boot yeah it's booting you can see ubuntu is booting yeah this is how this works and this is how you use it and one more important thing about this way making a bootable usb drive let's say uh, you want to use your uh, flash drive for other things you can actually delete this let's say you delete this okay and after that you put your personal files here and you can also have the os's in it it won't affect the system and uh, uh, you know you delete this doesn't matter later you can just copy those ISOs again and put it here and you're ready again so this is really simple and uh, easy to use uh, a bootable USB drive system like this is really good I, ha I have used like Rufus and other bootable USB makers but this is the best one because it's easy and you just have to do it once and uh, yeah you can delete those ISOs and add those ISOs back again and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed this I will put link in the description for the Ventor software you can go there download and have fun with your multi boot or a single boot uh, bootable USB drive that's it I will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye